What's happening, guys? It's your boy, the noob. So, with cons once again not happening because of the coronavirus, I have been kind of missing out on things that I would enjoy from them. The biggest thing that I have missed from cons is actually going down the dealer section. You all have been there. If you've been to cons, you walk in and it is just massive. The amount of geek stuff that you can buy and it doesn't matter where you're coming from you know Marvel DC uh, other comics uh, live-action movies anime has a giant thing when it comes to the dealer section and in the l recent years I have started buying statues and figures as you've seen up here I have a small collection and I'm slowly branching out I haven't quite reached the point of spending almost $500 for my waifu Rory Mercury but we're getting there. So this weekend, while I was out and about, there is a small mom and pop, I'm not sure what to call them, um, hobby store is what we'll call them. They've got comics, they've got Star Wars, they've got figures, they've got Transformers, and they have a section of anime. Now, as most stores have, of course, they have the big ones. They've got a lot of Dragon Ball Z, My Hero Academia, uh, they had Attack on Titan, but I like to browse the section that isn't as popular, some of the older stuff, and luckily for me, I was to find two statues that I just had to get. Now, I want you to think back. What was considered the greatest anime in my anime list before the last season of Attack on Titan somehow got up there? If you said Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, ding ding ding, you are correct, and I found the Elric Brothers, and I'm sorry, I just had to buy them. So, I want to unbox them, I want to see what they look like, and I got to share them with you. So, let's get to it. First and foremost, we're going to start with our main protagonist, Edward. That's right, our short boy. Who are you calling a mousy little pipsqueak? Yes, I know he doesn't like being short, but let me put it this way. Here's his box. Here is his brother's box. Even in statue size, they make him the smaller figure. So let's unpack him and see what we got. All right, let's see what we got. Ugh. Good, no tape, so I don't have to worry about that. Ooh. Ooh, the coat's all, like, soft and shit. All right, take the bag off him. They went all out. They put little bags on all of it. Front, back, face, yada yada. I gotta say, the details on this are just wow. I mean, take a look at that. That's just the face that is right on there, right off the bat. And it looks like it's got a lot of movable parts, so you can actually position him in a lot of spots. And I don't know if you could see this, but that's cloth. That's not hard, so it's movable. And I gotta put a little plastic off, but look, it's got the metal chain, and you can actually remove this. So if you didn't want to have the coat and all that, that's really good. Sorry, had to grab a pair of scissors. Damn, plastic didn't want to let go. And I gotta be careful, because I don't want to cut him. And I think between the two of these statues, I think I spent just under $300. Um, I got a discount from them because I, I bought a couple statues from them. I even got a uh, fate statue for my friend uh, Kisses from Kisses Cosplay. And, but this is really good. Now, like I said, this is just a figure. And look, you can see it's all movable. Ah, that's not bad. Uh, let's see some of the other accessories that they got. Uh, just right off the bat, uh, they got... This is, uh, you know when he morphs his uh, arm into a blade? Uh, that's that attachment. His very iconic uh, staff that he likes to make. So it comes with uh, all these other things. We got uh, a, a more angry face and more hair. Look, that's uh, the angry face. Several spare joints. And now for those who want to pose him in different uh, battle things, these are all different hands in different positions. This is a, uh, this is really good. I think this is one of my fancier figures. Oh, that's not bad. I'm actually really impressed with this. I, like I said, uh, I originally bought the uh, Alphonse, but I said, you know what? I gotta get Edward. So this is 
this was worth its money. All right, let's uh, let's get to the little brother. Oh, it's a big box. It's a big box. Oh, Alphonse, you're freaking heavy. Are you made out of metal for real? That'd be awesome if it was. This was definitely, I think, uh, I think for size-wise, I think this one was the better deal. Uh, I know Edward is the main character, but I'm sorry, Alphonse was always my favorite. Uh, especially since I plan to cosplay him at some point. Uh, I've got the Pepper Curve files, and I do plan to actually cosplay it. Uh, when I do, my friend Kisses from Kisses Cosplay, she does a wonderful Edward. I'm going to have her do Edward as well. Now, it doesn't look like... These are just the instructions on how to fold them or whatever. I mean, just look at this. It's freaking huge. I don't even know where I'm going to put them. Oh, it looks so cool. Oh, right. Jesus. I, I, I can't express this. This has got weight. Like, uh, Edwards was your typical maybe two, three pounds, I guess. This one actually has got half. And I mean, oh. I mean, look at this. The 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 thing, I, I, don't, I don't know what to call it, ribbon or whatever, it is, it's actually individual strands. He looks worn down. Oh, I mean, just look at this boy. Look at the look on this. I love the details on this. Oh, I mean, wait, wait, let's see. You can just see this. I mean, this looks really good. I mean, I am, I am very happy with this. I love how everything is articulated. It moves. It's hard to see, but right in there, it's cloth-like. Um, I don't know if you've ever worn armor uh, like this. I've actually been to some Renaissance fairs where they put you in this. You wear cloth stuff over your clothes before you wear the armor, and that's what this reminds me of. This is, this, oh, I have no clue where I'm gonna put this. Okay, before we go further looking at him, we need to see what the accessories are. So the first accessory I pull out, the iconic, screaming scared uh, look the kind of comedic thing that you uh, see in the anime these are different hands for when you want to pose him maybe in a fighting style that he likes to do and this I find adorable and you can especially tell that this is brotherhood there's the cat you know how he sometimes adopts a cat and then there was that little girl who uh, kind of became friends with him that may or may not have hooked with him in the after story she had a little panda that like to be with him so you've got two little figures that could be with him and uh, not as, as many accessories as Edward had but like I said this bad boy is hefty it's big it's heavy it's it, it is worth the price now what I like about this is remember how I said that they did pay attention to the size like I said here is Alphonse here's Edward that's about how it was in the anime they didn't skimp out. They didn't make the main character tall and all that. He fits the size that would match with Alphonse. And I'm sorry, this is... For under $300, these two figures, I think, are bloody great. I, I don't... I have no clue where I'm going to put this. Because I'm going to want to display this in a place that could be seen. I'm sorry, Optimus. I'm probably going to have to move you. <laughs> This is, this has got to be one of my favorite buys so far. If anything was going to get me more interested into buying more figures, these two alone, especially my boy Alphonse, are, this is it. This is going to convince me that spending more than $50 on a figure is worth it. Well, folks, I want to thank you for joining me. I, I have no words for this. This, this is, for missing cons... This is definitely something that brought me back to that shopping experience that I get while just walking through the dealer's room. Granted, I'm not getting any art right now, but, you know, like I said, for $300, these two figures are great. Well, folks, are you a fan of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood? Have you ever checked it out? If you haven't, please listen to my advice. Go back and watch it. If you haven't uh, watched it, and, and did you enjoy it? Did you not enjoy it? Let me know in the comments below. Anyways, folks... Thank you for joining me on this unboxing, and I will catch you all next time. See ya!